The black and gold proved why it's called the Hawkeye State on Friday night. Iowa picked up a 105 to 77 win over Iowa State in the yearly Cyhawk matchup. Hawkeye headquarter reporter Jarek Andreski takes a closer look how the Hawkeyes got the job done. For the third year in a row, the Iowa Hawkeyes basketball team won the yearly Cyhawk matchup against the ISU Cyclones. Luca Garza again shining. He scored 25 points in the second half, but in the first half, it was team play that set the stage for the win. You've got to be able to move the ball and get offense from a variety of places. And that's just what the Hawkeyes did in the first half after Luca Garza went to the bench in foul trouble. Luckily, Jack Nungy stepped in and went to work. I mean, he was awesome, but you know, I've been saying it for, for the fourth year, and a kid is really good. Uh, yeah, I just knew uh, I needed to step up for our team. And I'm also kind of taking a role coming off the bench and being an energy guy whenever we need it. And so I think that's something that I can use going forward, um, just bringing energy to the team, being that uh, boost that we need if we're in a – Little down spur. But when the second half got underway, Luca was on a mission to make up for lost time. I feel like nothing you could chew, you know, will miss. And I, and I just felt like that that way down the stretch, you know, I just felt like everything else putting up was a good shot. Garza, two. Garza went 10 for 10 in the second half, including 5 for 5 from deep. 21 of his 25 second half points came in just a five minute stretch. Yeah, when shots are going, you just keep shooting it because they're going to keep going in. Um, so you got to trust the work you put in. Um, I've never hit this many threes in the game, um, you know, in my career. Over time, I've just continued to work on, on my shot. And, and then, I, I, like I said, you know, no matter what's happening, I, I feel like I'm going to make every shot I take. Though he couldn't have done it alone. His teammates, especially Joe Toussaint, who tallied seven assists in the game, were able to help him get open looks to knock down. He's smart. He recognized his guy's on fire. Don't, you know, let's get it to him. You know, we can work it, work it, and then get it to him. Get him the ball when he's on fire like that. And that's what the great point cards do. And at the end of the night, the whole team got to celebrate its third straight Cyhawk victory. Oh, that's huge. Uh, that's something that CJ and I were talking about after the game. Um, coming in here, we've been, we're in the same class and obviously 3-0. and So um, it's pretty special and we want to continue to move that forward. You know, I, I definitely have embraced it. You know, obviously, you know, I'm coming from D.C. I've never been to Iowa before in my life, you know, until I visited here. You know, I've, I've just grown to, to understand what this rivalry means. Uh, but, you know, I think Iowa's going to be a part of me forever. It has been a busy week for the Hawkeyes with wins against North Carolina and Iowa State. But they're not done yet. They wrap up the week with a game against Northern Illinois University on Sunday afternoon. We'll, of course, have full coverage for you on air and online as well. Reporting for Hawkeye Headquarters, I'm Jarek Andreski.